Hey guys, today I'm going to be uh, showing you my mini spud cannon. Um, I've had this barrel on it for quite a while. This just shoots um, standard Q-tips uh, pretty far. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I'll be showing that in this video as well. Uh, but uh, just now, I uh, took apart one of my old airsoft pistols because I'm not using it. And I took the barrel nice aluminum barrel and interfaced that with that and so now it will shoot airsoft BBs beautifully and so as you can see in the background I've set up a little target um, had some towel laying around uh, I used it for like all my scrap and whatnot and so it'll hit it, go through the paper hit this and fall down under there Anyway, so first off will be the Q-tip, alright, and then we will switch barrels to this one, alright, so let me just get the camera on the tripod. Alright, the camera is kind of on the tripod, let me just do a few more adjustments here. Uh, let's go zoom in on the target. Now, I'm going to be shooting this target from about... I'd say about 10 feet away. So just that's size uh, ref or distance reference. As that's concerned, let me just move this back out of the way. So first off, we will be using the Q-tip barrel. So let's put that together. Actually, first we have to build it. The Q-tip, like so. That on there. Unscrew this. Get a little bit of air in there. A little squirt of hairspray. Pull it up and we're good to go. So, let me back up here into my other chair. Computer chair. Got this on in three, two, one. <laughs> Well, that was a pretty good shot considering the distance. Um, as you can see, that went in pretty much all the way. It looks like it went in at an angle since it sliced through. And there's your Q-tip. So, that's that one. Uh, that'll go pretty much across the entire house. Probably 60 feet. And you keep going, you'll hit the other wall. That was this barrel. Now, for the new barrel, it doesn't have any fancy um, flash guard like this one does. Um, but I do have a, a little thing here I'm planning to put on the front like that. Something like, like obviously straight. And, you know, something to do to make it look nicer. This one, same drill, so just like that. You actually sprayed the stuff in there first because it'll actually push the BB out. Spray in there, cap it up, take a BB, and then, and we're good to go. Right, so, right back up in my other chair. Here it goes down, and firing in three, two, As you can see, it was much louder and much faster than. Hey guys, um, in the last video I was showing you uh, this little spud cannon I made that I converted to an airsoft gun. And uh, as you know, I got this barrel, uh, just the aluminum part there, from the my old airsoft pistol, which is here, uh, or at least what's left of it. And um, I got the idea today to put this inside there um, so you have like a trigger instead of that little clicking thing from the lighter so I just finished putting in the little clicker as you can see right there and uh, the trigger assembly is pretty interesting here uh, basically you have like a release pin there which connects to the actual trigger and then this part here that's moving goes back here and comes in there and that's actually what releases the hammer um, 
I don't know why there's actually a hammer in here, but there was a hammer in this gun. And that's what pushes it, so that would be, that's an ideal location to mount that, so I did, as you can see. It works quite well, and you probably can't see the spark there, but it is sparking very nicely. So, uh, now what I'm going to do, or attempt to do, is mount this in some kind of fashion like that, and wire it all together. Um... So anyway, I figured I'd show you the first step, and I'll show you step by step what I did so I don't have to make a separate tutorial. So, I'll uh, get back to you in the next thing. Alright, so I just finished the um, airsoft gun, and um, I, c I will have to say that this shoots much, much faster than the original spring pistol. Uh, we're probably, I would guess, somewhere around 250 to 300 FPS. And that is extremely good for a pistol a pistol that you could buy on the market, I'm assuming. I mean, this is, this is comparable to that. And that was a very expensive gun. Now, I mean, of course, that's fully automatic and holds like a million rounds. But still... That's pretty impressive considering I could, uh, you guys can make this pretty much from uh, household items. Um, so overall very happy with this project. Um, so I'm just going to go over what I did since the last thing. So uh, first thing I did was I cut down the actual stock, if you will, uh, right there. It was probably about, um, oh here's the piece I cut off right here. Um, I cut this off. So it wouldn't look too ridiculous. So I cut that off, sanded that down, and I'm going to touch that up with some black paint later down the line, uh, along with some other spots like that. There was a piece of metal there or something. Just a few touch-ups could go a long way. Maybe paint this. Um, then I uh, just put the whole thing back together, the barrel, everything, lined it up, put some glue on both sides of the... Um, uh, expansion chamber. I, I've the real name uh, leaves me at the moment, but anyway, put um, glue around that, uh, and then uh, obviously hook up all the wiring. Uh, I decided to go through the back, and before I was going to go through the sides here, but um, that was interfering with the tank, and I decided to scoot the tank back. Uh, so I did have to add some extra wiring to it, some more wires to uh, reach. Um, as far as the barrel's concerned, I just put some glue between, these were like some kind of guides for the, uh, when you cocked it, the sliding part. Um, so those were guides, those actually worked out nice because I was pretty much level with the barrel, so I just put some glue between there and lined it up good. And, um, overall I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I will show you how the sparking works if you haven't seen it already. Let me just hand it down here. Let's see if I can do this. Let's put that down right there. Uh, this is how you uh, arm it each time, too. You take this off. And normally you'd get some hairspray and go spray. Well, you'll, you'll see when I uh, shoot it. But as you can see, it does... Let's see if I can get it. It's, it is sparking, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Yeah, you can kind of see it. A little blue flash, that's a spark. And so that is, um, that's working very nicely. It's a lot, lot easier to use because you just pull the trigger instead of fiddling around with this little thing that hurt your finger after about two uses. So, um, so now I'm going to show you, uh, how loud it is, what the accuracy is, and what the range is. Um, so first off, I'm going to shoot this piece of paper. All right, actually, I'm going to get a new one. Um, so, I'm going to set this up real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're just, I just threw another piece of paper in front of it. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to arm it. Uh, you basically take this cap off like I showed before. You take some hairspray, just spray a little bit in there. Cap it off. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yep, cap it off. Uh, take a BB. Uh, let's see if I can find one. There's one don't have my crate next to me today. Uh, take a BB and just turn it like that. 
place down the barrel here, it'll roll down. Alright. And so I'm just going to go from this perspective this time. And pretty much you're ready to go. So, let me just hold on. Alright, so. In three, two. Oh, my BB just fell out. Oops. My bad. Alright, so. Once again. In three, two, one. So, as you can see, that was quite loud. Um, it does actually leave a flame coming out. Uh, that's why I have this flash guard here. It's mostly just for decorative purposes, but it does serve a function. Um, I mean, this isn't exactly a stealthy weapon because, number one, you have to load it like that, and number two, it is pretty loud. So, that was um, more or less an accuracy test. I'm going to back up over here by my computer and try it one more time. So let me just set the gun out. I feel like putting this on a tripod, so let me just put this here, zoom in. Let's see if I can get this little paper clip thing. Survey function. Bear with me here. I'm going to use a cord to balance the camera. There we go. All right. So now I'm just going to load it up and shoot it again for you. <laughs> and e between each time you have to blow some air in there to, you know, get all the exhaust out and whatnot. Alright, this BB looks good. Alright, and now I'm just going to switch chairs here. All the way back here, probably about 10 feet or so. And three, two, one pretty good. Alright, so now we're going to do a range test. Uh, for this we're going to go outside and uh, so I'm going to have to cut this right here and I will be back when we are outside and situated. Alright, so here we are in the garage. We've got all the stuff here. Gun, hairspray, BBs, and uh, we're going to be shooting at this little stone box. Uh, you saw this in the last video. There's the hole. Out hole. Um, so, um, let's see. I'm going to have to move this down here. And I'm going to be shooting from over there. So that's probably about 20 feet. 20 to 30 feet. Alright, so um, I am just going to set up the camera right here so you can get a relatively good view of that and I will be shooting at it and you shall see if I hit it or miss it so let me disarm this alright fueled Grab a BB. Alright, against the garage door. And three, two, one. Alright, I must not put enough fuel in it. Alright. Let's try it again. Yep, definitely aimed high. I hit this little, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I hit this little uh, doobly doo. You probably saw it if you take if you wind it back, you'll probably see this move or something. Um, all right, so that was tick one. Not too bad. That was a pretty good shot considering. Um, let's get some more fuel in there. All right, getting another baby. Let's fire two, long distance, in three, two, one, yeah, I saw that one, it curves upward, because this barrel 
obviously it does not have any rifling or anything. So um, I have to aim below where I want to shoot now. Alright. The BB and test three on range. Three with the charm. Let's see. Oh god, I'm so alright. Three, two, one. Got it. You have to aim about two inches below where you want to hit. So as you can see, it's a nice little hole right there. That's where it went in. Um, there is a little dent in the back, but I mean, considering that's pretty long range. Um, here's the glorious BB. Um, so I'm going to see if I can adjust this a little bit um, because that is a bit of a downside. So let's see if I can push the barrel down to adjust this issue. All right, so I've adjusted it to what I think is that's a good adjust. Here, I'm going to actually move the camera. Oops, hold on. Bear with me here. All right, the camera. All right, I just I'm get, I think I adjusted it. We're gonna find out right now if I did in fact adjust it. I should put like a laser sight on here. That's pretty cool. All right, it's armed, loaded. That's number four. Long range. Three, two, one. Well, I'd say that, uh, that little, um, adjustment worked. And is that a living cockroach? All right, we're going to see what this thing does to a cockroach. I know that might be gross for some of you, but hey, science and where did that go in? Oh, so we're going to see what this thing will do. Again, it's that glorious little cockroach right there. No, I'm just kidding. We can never do that. So let's do one more test. Uh, move this over a little bit, actually. One more test from long range, and then we will go back inside because it's about. Well, I can tell you exactly what the temperature is in here. It is 92 degrees, plus humidity and all other crap. I just heard the air kick on. Um, so last final test of the day. And three, two, one. Because that one does not go fast at all. I think I got too much feel in here. You hear I didn't make it didn't even go through it. So because of that, we are going to redo this, that final test, because there was just no... Alright, little squirt. Reloading. We need to get one more that will go in it, because that one is just not good at all. And three. Well, it didn't miss. It actually hit the top part. I don't know if that. Nope. It didn't get out of the camera. Hit all. I'll show you. Hit, hit this. This right here. Just what? Just skimmed it. So I'm going to do that one more time. Let's see if we can actually hit it this time. I'm going to do this adjustment again too. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I will probably be adding more stuff to this. Um, it's because this is, in my opinion, this is really cool. Um, so anyway, once again, thanks for watching. 
And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.